Mr. Chair and the broke our hearts when she left us. We have to fight, carry on the fight in her name. And four years ago this summer, the United Nations declared water to be a human right. They also declared sanitation to be a human right. And what that means is that every country in the world is responsible for looking after their most vulnerable people. It means that every country in the world is not allowed to turn the tap off of the water that is already being delivered. And it means that nobody has the right to say no to water for people who cannot afford it. It also means we have to shut off for not the only issue here. Another issue here for us is the affordability of water. Even if people can pay these, these prices are exorbitant. We live on the Great Lakes here. You're part of the, a fifth of the world's larger of the, the world of uh, body of water that's twenty percent of the world's water. It is appalling. The corporations get it for free, the bottled water companies get it for free, and they're coming into the homes of the most vulnerable people in the country. We are calling Obama to recognize the human rights crisis taking place in his country, in this city right now. It is not acceptable that people don't have clean running water in the summer or any time, but particularly in the heat of the summer. This is a public health issue. This is what the United States is aid to other countries to alleviate. It has to be dealt with here. And let me promise you, we love you. We in Canada feel deeply for what you're going we have pledged, as I pledge to you here today, we will not stop, our support will not stop, until the taps are turned on, until it, they're never turned off again, until the water affordability plan is put together, and the human right to water, and, and, and the dignity of sanitation is a fact. And I just want to say one last thing, and that is that people think that Detroit's the first or the last city to go through this, this is the canary in the coal mine. When you have policies by the 1%, for the 1%, this is what you get. Three decades of the kind of policies that have dried up public infrastructure funding, that have dried up social security funding, and left people who are wealthy able to take all the money and move, and it's globalization, moving the jobs away and leaving our cities hollowed out. This is not the first city, this is one city, but one city after another is going to go this way until we say no to their virulent form of capitalism and say bring back a form of, of, of social democracy and, 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 and freedom for, for people's individual rights and, and collective Woo! rights that we have the right to. And I pledge you that we will stay strong in our love for you uh, from yeah. Canada. Thank you very much for your